Hi everyone, in our maths today we're going to start looking at some division word problems and how to write division number sentences and some easy ways to try and work out our division questions. Let's have a go at this first one together and we'll see how we can do with this. So the question says, James has six bread rolls. He shares them equally with his sister. How many do they each have? So what you're going to need to do first is you're going to need to get your objects you're going to use to count. So I'm going to start with my Lego bricks. And I'm going to need six. So I'm going to put them on the bread rolls. One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect, because that is how many that we've got. And that is how many we are dividing or sharing between the people we have. So we have James. Let's get a James. Hello, I'm James. And his sister. Hello, I'm James's sister. We need to share these between these two people. So what we're gonna do is first, we're gonna move our items and share them out. So one for James, one for his sister, one for James, one for his sister, one for James, one for his sister. They have three rolls each now. So we know that six rolls divided, shared between two people, gives the answer of three. But how would we write that as a number sentence and how do we know what to write? First of all, we need to write how many roll, bread rolls we have. So we can see here that we have six bread rolls. So that is going to be the number that we start with because that is a num because that is a number that we want to share. So we have six. We start to move six. Then we need to use our divide sign. Whatever that means to share, to share out. So we're sharing out six rolls. Then we need to find out how many people, or how many things we're sharing it between. So we're sharing it between James and he's sharing them equally with his sister. Remember, equally means the same. So we have two people that we are sharing things out with or between. So six divided by two. This means we are splitting six into two equal groups. That's what we've done here. We still got six in here all together. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have. Has James and his sister, have they got the same amount each? One, two, three. One, two, three. They have. So six divided by two or shared by two gives us the answer three. They each have three. Let's try another one. See, let's see first if we can find what numbers we're going to need to use. So Evie buys eight oranges. Okay, so we know that we're going to need to share out eight oranges at the shop. She shares them equally with her friend. How many oranges do they each have? So we have eight. And we are sharing them between Evie and her friend. So we're doing eight divided by two equals, you might know the answer already, but we're gonna work, work through it together. Okay, so we have Evie here in her pot and we have her friend here. And we are gonna use some Rice Krispies instead of oranges, because I don't have eight oranges. Oh, drop one on the floor. There we go, we have eight oranges. Let's put one on each orange, just so I can check that I have eight. I do. What we need to do then is, we need to share these equally. So we're gonna go one for Evie, one for her friend. 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 Once we've shared out all of the oranges, now all the oranges have gone, we need to count and see 
how many Evie and her friend have in their pot. This is Evie's pot. We can see that she has one, two, three, four oranges. Let's make sure they're equally shared. Her friend's got four as well. Let's have a look. One, two, three, four. They both have four oranges. So eight oranges divided by two people gives them four oranges each. See if you can have a go at this one. Remember, you need to find out how many items you have and divide, and then how many you're gonna divide that between. So, I'm gonna tell you for this one, you have 15 boxes of cereal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And then we're sharing them between Olivia and her two brothers. So we have 15 divided by three. So we have Olivia and she has two brothers equals. Have a go and see if you can do that one at home for me.